Did you know, scientifically, the black woman is the only organism that possesses the mitochondrial DNA that has all the variations possible for all kinds of human beings. When the DNA of a black woman mutates, all other types of human beings come about. That's the Eve gene and is only found in black women. The MTMRCA is the common ancestor of all mitochondrial haplogroups and is located at the divergence of the macro haplogroup L. Into LO and L16. All humans, regardless of race, which is a social construct, can trace their ancestry to a black woman from the southern Africa who walked this earth over 100,000 years ago. Today, scientists call her mitochondrial Eve, and her DNA can be found in black women today. Kenyan Mexican actress Lupita Nyong'o discovered she has the mitochondrial Eve gene during the Finding Your Roots TV show on PBS with Henry Louis Gates Jr. Lupita is quoted as having said, Last year, I tested my ancestry with a black owned company called African Ancestry. I highly recommend this since this company does not sell your DNA, unlike the other ones. And she's not the only woman. There are many black women in the world today who have the mitochondrial DNA, the Eve gene. Women like Akua Page. She's quoted as having said, Now I, Okua Page, am Gullah Geechee. I am the descendant of Africans who were enslaved and fought back against slavery on plantations in South Carolina, North Carolina, Georgia, and Florida. But being Gullah Geechee doesn't tell me where exactly my people were kidnapped from. And I am one of many American-born Africans who are still trying to find the plantations my people were enslaved on. One of many displaced Africans who are still trying to reconnect from the villages and empires that we were stolen from. I, like many other American-born Africans, still carry the last name of a plantation owner, Page. But I know Page is not where my lineage and history starts. Frustrated with the lack of information from direct family members, I tested my DNA and from there I found the hidden roots of my family tree. She goes on to say, according to the results, I too, just like Lupita, possesses the mitochondrial Eve gene. My results determine that I belong to the haplogroup L1C1 with 100% ethnicity matching the Bedzan people of modern day Cameroon, also known as Takar. Other Gullah Geechee women may find similar results since haplogroup L1 is commonly found in people from West and Central Africa. But what does all this information mean? The mitochondrial Eve gene teaches us that we are all connected, regardless of race. It also teaches us that Africa is the origin of humanity and civilization, starting with black women. Sister Soldier said in her viral State of War speech, If Africa is the origin of civilization, then is it not through my womb in which everything exists? If everything exists because of an African womb, then does it not stand to reason that you respect, honor, love, and protect that particular species? Meditate on that. Yes, this beautiful black woman is the creator of all humans on earth. She comes directly from the source. So we don't buy into the gender wars, not on this channel. We appreciate and we pay homage to the black woman. And she changes her name. She changes her home. She leaves her family. She moves in with you. She builds a home for you. She gets pregnant for you. Pregnancy changes her body. But not only that, even the children that she delivers bears your name. Till the day she dies, everything she does, cooking, cleaning your house, taking care of your parents, bringing up your children, earning, advising you, Ensuring you can be relaxed, maintaining all your family relationships, everything that benefits you, sometimes at the cost of her own health, hobbies, and beauty. To heal a woman is truly to heal a nation. In order for us to heal our nation from all the isms, racisms, sexism, etc., then we need to start by centering black women, our mitochondrial 
Eve. We encourage all men to appreciate the women in your lives, and particularly the mother of the universe, the black woman. It's a man's world, but it will be nothing without a woman or a girl. The Black Excellence and Abundance Channel, where black history is every day.